I do not like to start the show off on a negative note. I do not like to start the show off on a somber note, but this is a must. We lost two these words thrown around, but I, I, I don't hesitate to use it on these two men that we lost this past weekend on Sunday, speaking of which. Uh, George A. Romero and Martin Landau. I do not hesitate to use the word icon to describe both of these men. We will give a brief uh, in memoriam of these two men. George A. Romero uh, is the one of the pioneers of the horror film genre, a word that not many people can be associated with with pioneering a genre, you know what I mean? So that's a very eclectic word. It's a very unusual word. Uh, director of Night of the Living Dead, which started his career, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, uh, other stuff that he worked on, Creep Show, Monkey Shines, The Crazies, the list goes on. Uh, he was an inadmittable, essential character in the horror, uh, in the horror movie world. And he died at age 77 of lung cancer this past weekend. You know, according to reports, they say he uh, passed away listening to one of his favorite film scores. I uh, fail to remember which one it was. One of his favorite fil film scores with his uh, wife and daughter at his side. So no better way to go. He was I listening to the film score of The Quiet Man. Oh, there you go. The Quiet Man. Quiet there man you now. are. I just hope they double tapped him before uh, before he woke back up as <laughs> I mean, a zombie. Here's That's the jo everyone's that, making that I joke. I love that. I love that. I mean, I will say this though. Here's the thing, um, and this is going to be kind of a weird, offhanded thing to say, but I will say this. Uh, I didn't think George A. Romero was the greatest horror director. I oh, neither do I. Neither I'd do hesitate I. to say who was. Uh, I'd say the genre wouldn't be where it was today without him. He is uh, he's probably the greatest zombie film director, I would say. Probably. The father of the Yeah, I would say film. probably. But would... I always appreciated the versatility more so of of somebody like uh, Wes Craven. Most uh, I would say I definitely appreciate his versatility. John Carpenter is another person I appreciate a lot. But I can't not knock George A. Romero at all. I've ne The only movie I ever saw that I did not like from him was uh, one of his last survi uh, Survival of the Dead, which I know went through a lot of budgeting problems and such like that. But I mean, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, two essential movies. I will now, just like I did when Wes Craven passed away a couple years ago, I will review those. I've seen them before. Obviously, I've seen them. I'm a big horror movie fan. It'd be criminal if I hadn't. But I never reviewed them. So I'm going to watch Night, Dawn, and Day of the Dead come October. That is the dead trilogy. If you watch nothing else, else by Romero just watch the original dead trilogy uh, some say and I kind of tend to agree with them that he peaked uh before the turn of the millennium before 2000 yes I can, I can actually kind of agree with that depends on the mood I'm in likewise but the original dead trilogy is not well not perfect but it's as good as it gets it is indeed the founding of the zombie genre and without without George Romero we would not have the walking dead zombie land um, all these a plethora all, of movies, all these real life uh, zombie scenarios you can find at hor at uh, you know at uh, Six Flags or whatever. Walking what Dead owes a lot to Romero. It owes it owes almost everything mm -hmm. to Romero. The other person we'll briefly mention as well, Martin Landau, dead at the age of eighty nine. Landau was uh, famous for uh, his recurring role in the TV show Mission Impossible. He was Bella Lugosi in the movie Ed Wood, a film I still have criminally not seen to this day. Yeah. Uh, Crimes and Misdemeanors is probably my favorite with him because I love uh, that's a Woody Allen film. Love that movie. Love that movie dearly. Think it's a terrific, terrific drama. Um, and he's been in a, quite a few stuff, big character actor, uh, has a laundry list of film credits. Like I said, he passed away. He passed away this, um, like this weekend as well. Same day yeah. as Romero. I think the news broke about two hours after Romero passed wow. away. So you hit, had two very instrumental movie figures too. Landau just celebrated his 89th birthday last month. So a big rest in peace to these two icons. Film is a little darker now that these men have passed away.